Okay, here we go again. It is game turn five of the 30 Years War quad by Decision Games. We are getting ready for the French players' um, disruption removal phase. <clears throat> On the far French right, it doesn't look like they have any eligible units. This one is adjacent to a, or over here, adjacent to a, in an enemy zone of control. This one's also in an enemy zone of control, as well as this unit's in an enemy zone of control. So there'll be no attempts on the right flank. Uh, more towards the center here. Um, likewise, this unit here is in an enemy zone of control, and this unit's in an enemy zone of control. So there'll be no. Uh, disruption removal attempts there. Moving a little farther to the French left flank. Um, like I said, this unit's in enemy zone of control. This unit is not in an enemy zone of control, so it is eligible. This unit is in an enemy zone of control. And finally, this unit is not but these two, or this one is, and this one's not. So we'll have three rally attempts, it looks like. Or, yeah, rally attempts. Disruption removal attempts. So let's just go ahead and do that on camera here. <clears throat> let's start with the one over here. He is adjacent to a leader, so he will get a plus one to his rally attempt, which is a five or six, so he'll need a four, five, or six. I roll a four, so he is... back uh, to good order. Uh, this unit actually can rally, my mistake, because that unit is disrupted, so he can uh, he can uh, make a disruption removal check. And he gets a plus one due to the leader. Three plus one is four, he does not succeed. Oops. Great, now i got to find out where he was. Um, this unit, five or six, no bonus. Five. And he flips over. Finally, we have the unit on the far left. <clears throat> five or six, no bonuses. He rolls a six. So things look pretty good for the French player during the rally. Uh, rally, uh, rally phase, <laughs> disruption removal phase. Get this right eventually. All right, looks like my battery's getting low, so when I come back, we'll do the French movement phase. Okay, this is a partial overview of the battlefield at the start of the French players' movement phase of game turn five. When I come back, we will have the post movement uh, shot the battlefield. And here we are, French player, post-movement phase. Um, let's see here. I move these disrupted units back off the line, use my cavalry reserve, six and a four, to plug the gap. Um, so we have no more reserve on the right flank. In the center, Let's see, what did we do? Okay, back over to the right flank real quick. I did move my Dengen, Dengen, uh leader back to these uh, to the disruption line. Hopefully next turn I'll get a chance to rally. He is in a precarious position, only being defended by a one strength point disrupted unit. Um, however, I'm gambling that the French player or the Spanish player will not be able to reach him next turn so hopefully he'll have rallied these three units by then and things will be a little bit better we'll see for the French player that is in the center I just moved up the uh, French heavy infantry um, to start plugging any gaps which may uh, begin to appear Looks like this side over here will probably 
need both string in the coming turn. Uh, let's see, and on the far left flank, um, didn't do a whole lot. Left things pretty much like they were. Um, I think I, no, I don't think I moved much at all over here, so uh, it's pretty static over on the uh, Spanish right, French left. So, anyway, this is what it looks like after movement. We will proceed to the French player's combat phase of game turn five. Okay, and here we are after the French combat phase, game turn five. Um, things didn't go quite so well for the French player. You can see that the center is pretty well smashed. And let's see, the right flank not looking terribly good, but we didn't do a lot of combat over there, so um, it's still, still in the poor shape that it was when we began the combat phase. And we'll pan over here to the French left, and we can see that things didn't get much better. So there's a lot of dark blue out there on the map, and that's not a good sign. And the other thing is, a lot of the Spanish units will be able to be eligible to remove disruption next turn because they're adjacent to a bunch of French units that are. Um, that are disrupted, so we we'll guess we'll uh, see what happens. With this, we will proceed to the Spanish player's uh, disruption removal phase of game turn five. So, um, things aren't looking too good for the French, but historically that's kind of how it was anyway, but there will be no no units to from the comm to, to help uh, pull their fat from the fire, so we'll see what happens. Alright, here we are, once again, Spanish player, game turn 5, disruption removal phase. Okie doke, this unit cannot, cannot, uh, cannot, this unit is eligible. He's adjacent to a leader, so he gets a plus one. Need a five or six. Got a six. Cavi unit uh, undisrupts. Let's see what else we have here. Make sure these are. Alright. What we have here? He cannot. He can. And he can. So we'll just start with the one over there. Five or six. No leader bonus to the one on the right. Rolls a four. So he remains disrupted. The next one gets a plus one. He's adjacent to a leader and not adjacent to any enemy units. So, well, not adjacent to in his enemy zone of control. Rolls a 5, plus 1 is 6, so he undisrupts. Get a hold of him here. Alright, on down the line. This unit's in enemy zone of control and may not remove disruption. Same with this unit. However, this unit may attempt. He'll get a plus one from the leader adjacent to him. Rolls a four, plus one is five. This unit may not. This unit may not. This unit may. So, no leader bonus. He needs a five or six. Rolls a three. Not good enough. All right, come to the conclusion of the Spanish player turn five disruption removal phase, and things are looking uh, a lot better for the Spanish player. Oh, <clears throat> it's going to be a tough road here for the French, especially if they lose a few units this turn, and the Spanish player can make 
some gaps in the line. I think we'll see the French player position dissolve, but we'll see. The system seems to be a give and take kind of a thing, so uh, any type of major um, breakthrough or anything like that comes slowly over time as it should in this system, so um, anyway, we'll be on to the Spanish player's movement phase. This is going to be kind of a before before and then I'll come back with an after shot. Let's see, here we are at the end of the Spanish player's movement phase. He has pulled some units out of the line and replaced them with reserve units and will hopefully undisrupt some of the disrupted units in the back to form another reserve. Um, that seems to be Seems to be the one of the key factors of the game is if you commit your reserves, you need to pull your battered units out and have a leader back there to rally them, uh, so they will form a new reserve. So um, I guess that's if you're on the defense. If you're on the offense, you probably need your leader up up front to uh, help with any breakthroughs and combats, stuff like that, whatever. Um, so, things are looking uh, a little dicey for the French player. Uh, plus, that's poor play on my part, I'm sure. Uh, first time I've played this game, but not this system, so, but you wouldn't you wouldn't think that, showing my ineptitude uh, with the rules and stuff. Anyway, this unit I forgot to attempt to uh, undisrupt last turn, I believe. I re-rolled for him and uh, or rolled for him and he failed anyway so he's just sitting back there all by his lonesome waiting for uh, a chance to remove disruption uh, other than that we're going to go to the Spanish players combat phase here in a second and uh, just kind of giving you a view of the battlefield before the combat uh, phase you will probably notice quite a bit of difference uh, when I come back. So, without further ado, we will proceed to roll some combats. Things look pretty shaky for the French player after the end of the Spanish player's combat phase on game turn 5. The Spanish player had quite a bit of success, however, here on their right flank, they, there were a lot of disruption uh, exchanges, so while they managed to damage the French left, they themselves took um, a moderate amount of casualties. So that's going to be interesting next turn to see who can rally, <clears throat> rally their units and get them back into the battle. Center, the French pretty much just disintegrated as I thought they might. However, the die rolls, uh, die roll results, combat results, are surprising when you think that, oh, I've got a 2 to 1, 3 to 1, 5 to 1, you know. You're still, there's still chances that there'll be a no effect or a disruption on your part or the dreaded uh, disruption exchange where both sides are um, torn apart. So anyway, the French player is going to have to find a way to plug the gap, pull out some of those units and get them uh, undisrupted and try to form another reserve. Uh, but we'll see. Anyway, the right, uh, Spanish left, I guess. It's so weird being upside down backwards. Um, they, uh, there was pretty much a not a lot going on. There were a few combats, but not uh, nothing decisive on the Spanish player's part. So the the right the part, left part of the Spanish flank, and the right of the French have gone through. Oh no, they've. Uh, what am I trying to say here? They have uh, 
switched switch positions off and on as far as ascendancy goes and who's who's in a better position. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So right now it's kind of a draw. Uh, as is the entire battlefield at the moment. But anyway. Sorry for the scattered uh scattered thoughts here. Uh, it's still morning here in Kansas. Uh, so, we will proceed to game turn six after this, and we will see what, uh, happens then. So, until then, take care.